Thank you. We've also been joined by Councilman Charles Barron. If we can yeah. acknowledge him. Thank you for coming, Councilman Barron. Uh, our next award is going to be presented by uh, Senator Ruth Hassel Thompson, uh, along with uh, Assemblyman Gary Pretlow. Uh, Assemblyman Pretlow is the chair of the uh, Racing and uh, Wagering Committee in the Assembly, and Chairman uh, Thompson, uh, as you know, is the chairman of the New York State Black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, and Asian Caucus. Uh, the chair of the Senate Democratic Conference, uh, the chair of the uh, Conference of Black Senators, and I believe the ranking member of Judiciary. The sister got a lot of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> but we're pleased to have both of them to present uh, the Joseph L. Gallagher Award. Thank you very much. I represent the 36th senatorial district that used to be Joe Gallagher's district. And when that district came to include the city of Mount Vernon, nobody cheered more than me. When I met Mr. Gallagher, I said to him, Senator, um, I want to follow in your shoes. Who knew that it truly would happen? In looking at and understanding the suave gentleman that he was. I look for an honoree that not only fit the physiological bill, who was a speaker and an orator, but somebody who loved justice. And I found in that person, Carl Barkas. Carl is currently the head of our Homeland Security and Safety Systems for the City School District of Mount Vernon. But more than that, he takes every blessing that God has given him and helps young people. And, you know, hurting our young people today is, is as the expression goes, is like herding cats because they want to go anywhere and everywhere. But he has a voice that is calm but clear. And in that voice, he speaks to young men to the heart of where they are and says to them, you can be what you want to be. I can tell you that because I've walked that path and I've chosen this path. This was a conscious choice. And I have people along the way that helped me to make the choices I made. So I'm here to help you to make the choices you want to make. So when his name came to my attention, it was without hesitancy I suggested that we give the Joseph L. Gallagher Award to Mr. Carl Barkas. Because of his work with our school district, I have asked Assemblyman Gary Pretlow, who also represents that district with me in the Assembly, if he would share with me the honor of presenting this award to Carl Barkas. Thank you, Senator, and good afternoon, everyone. Um, the Senator has said it all. I'll just add a few of his social uh, commitments, we we'll call them. He's a member of the Big Brothers and Big Sisters, a member of the New York Gang Association, Gang Investigators Association. <laughs> Let's put all of our words in there. We don't go to get it wrong. You know, National Association of School and Safety, um, enforcement agents, and most, most importantly, he's a member of the finest fraternity in the United States of Major Sci Fi. <laughs> Carl, please step up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's right there, huh? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. To God be the glory. I want to thank the New York State Association of Black and Puerto Rican Legislatures for bestowing this great honor upon me. The late Senator Joe Gallagher, for whose memory this award celebrates, had a reputation 
for supporting change. In 1968, when first elected to the state senate, his courage and commitment made it easy for Senator Gallagher to be an advocate for the Bronx constituents of which he wanted to bring about change. As a sidebar, I believe that during that era, there must have been something special in the water of the Bronx. Because also, the late U.S. Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan and former U.S. Secretary of State General Colin Powell, they were also drinking that water in the Bronx as well. <laughs> the word change, to make the future course of something different from what it is or would be if left alone. To effectuate change, you sometimes have to take some unpopular stands, commit to agendas that may go against the grain, maybe even ruffle a few feathers. But you do so because you believe that it is right. We hope the spirit of justice lives, not just in our legislators, but in each of us as well. In June of 1976, at the sixth grade graduation of PS 213, I was drinking the Brooklyn water at the time. <laughs> the name Carl Barkas was called for the student earning the Good Citizenship Award. Through my youthful eyes, I had not a uniqueness over any other 11-year-old. I had gotten good grades, gone to Sunday school, was a Boy Scout, was even pretty responsible to my younger siblings. In retrospect, I look at the foundational importance of those activities and believe the adults were rewarding good behavior and promoting the dreams of an ambition-filled young man. Encouragement that I ask each of you to extend to the positive actions of our young people today. Over the years, opportunity has afforded me the ability to travel throughout the world, an advantage that would also humble me, affirm my faith, and increase my passion for change. Not just within my own life, but also for the lives of others. We as concerned people for one another must pay it forward, right. our blessings. Right. When such is done, we improve not only our life, but the life of others. As been said, I am currently Director of Safety and Security for the City of Mount Vernon Public School District. And I'm finding that working with children is a reward and a responsibility. I am part of a team whose effectiveness transcends not only throughout our schools, but also in our communities. This past year at Graham, uh, Grimes Elementary School in Mount Vernon, I read with a group of sixth grade boys who had no father in their lives. We read the book, The Pact. A, a story, a true story, which had journaled the lives of three elementary school friends who made a commitment to stand by one another until the circumstances of life had improved in each of their lives and their families.